Hello, YouTube viewership. Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. One more time. What are we doing today? An unboxing. All right. When is the last time you picked up a fillet knife and you saw that symbol on it? Well, this is the return of my two Titan titanium fillet knives by George Lambert down in Stewart, Florida. Yes, Stewart, Florida, folks. I did a video about these before. I sent mine back to him for the sheer fact that I did not know this. I guess, you know, I, it just skipped over, is that when you have his knives, you have a lifetime knife that if you want it professionally sharpened, coated, cleaned, whatever he does. I don't know what he does to him, but he does something. As I learned, and I, I know, I mean, George told me I pretty much tore up my knives. I tore, I tore them up because of the fact um, I was in a hurry. They were getting dull on me. To put it plain and simple, you only sharpen these on one side. And I must have sharpened them on both sides. I was using one of those pull-through things or something. You know, in a hurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this, this up. So what do we got? Let's start with this one. I think there's some absolute brand new ones in here. Okay, look at it. Oh my God, George, come on, man. Okay, this is one of, I think this is one of my old ones. Yes, this is my old one because see, uh, let's see if I can see, uh, I can put that in the viewfinder. Captain Dave's Sport Fishing Charters. Come on. That is laser etched, I think he told me somehow. He can put a whole entire picture of your boat there if you want, he said. He cleans the handles. They're made out of, look at this. <gasps> Folks, that's a hard handle. That ain't plastic. But my God, it's made out of some grippy material. So that, that's probably, that's probably the one that I use the most. Was this one right here. So that is that one. Okay. Uh, then there's this one. Oh, yeah, this is my other one. I didn't use this one as much. I come to find out that I kind of like that little one, you know, because I was doing a lot of trout over here. But this is the big Chief Wakatoa right here. When you're going to whack them and stack them. I don't know. Let me see if you can see it on that blade here. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I would love, you know, I'd love to go down to his place because... He says, ah, oh, we're just, you know, we're just a small company. And I'll, yeah, well, how the heck, what are you doing, George? What do you, how do you, how do you, what do you got to forge or what do you, what do you got going on down there? How do you, how, what are you doing all, how are you doing all this metal stuff? You know, I'm thinking like, you know, blacksmith shop or something. I don't know. Whatever he's doing, this edge has the coating on it or something he told me he had to bond some new i tore up the stuff here or whatever okay so that's one of my old ones then we got these here Woo! my god look at that captain dave's sport fishing charters and a little thin blade oh my god oh these are he said these are brand new look at that handles a little different same material. God, is that grippy, folks. You can't even imagine how grippy that is. There it is. Sharpen this side. Made in USA. Titan. Titanium. Titan Knife Technologies. Patent pending or something here, folks. Look at that. 
Oh man, that's nice. That's sweet. Sweet. Oh, same thing. Same thing. The reason I said pay attention, folks, pay close attention, is for the sheer fact that I am going to give away one of these knives to you. I'm giving in one of these knives to you. I don't think it's going to be this one. <laughs> I like this little dude right here now. Oh, yeah. It's going to come with the sheath. It's going to come with the blade recovery, the cleaning kit, whatever it takes, a card, the brochure. I'm going to give away one of these knives, and you're going to know it's from me because it's going to have my name on it because it'll always be a reminder of whose YouTube channel you watch. Captain Dave's Sport Fishing Charters, right there on that one. That's the one I might give away. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a contest. And in that contest, I'm going to have you, I don't know what I'm going to do, but if the contest is coming up. See, this is one thing about these EDCs here. I don't know if I already messed these up, but it cuts stuff, but it won't cut. These EDCs here won't cut simple things like that. I mean, they're sharp. Well, they're sort of sharp. But believe it or not, I can cut braid with it. I have cut braid. All you have to do is do the old thing where you hold the braid tight. Okay, let me pull out this. Okay, there we go. Tighten your last knife. There's George Lambert is his name. He's the master knife man. Sharpens as you use it. That's the deal with this, folks. So what you're going to do is I'm going to make you swim across the St. John's River pulling a 30-pound redfish with a fiberglass rod in your mouth that with a 6 ot pen clunky senator attached to it. And if you accomplish that, you're going to be able to win one of these knives. No, I'm only kidding. I'm kind of really liking this right here. I'm kind of liking this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come up with what we're going to have a contest of, and you're going to be able to win one of these knives. But right now, this is a basic show and tell coming in the near future. I got to figure out what we're going to do, folks. I got to figure out what we're going to do. And then you're going to be able to be winning one of these. These are anywhere, if I'm not mistaken, if I you go on their website, on his website, um, I'm thinking these things run from anywhere from 50 to 80 something bucks, okay? Lifetime, like sharpening guarantee the whole nine yards on these. And you, uh, let me, oh, let me go over this. I don't know if I ever really pounded this home to you. These knives do not rust. I'm in the back of my boat, boop, 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 doing Mr. Trout, doing Mr. Sheep's Head, doing Mr. Redfish, whatever, doing Mr. Croaky, Mr. Flounder, and guess what? I go like this. <laughs> okay, I'm done. You ain't doing that with no other knife on a boat. You know, I clean fish on my boat. Oh, I take this and take my hose. Salt water wash down. <laughs> there you go. I wipe them off and then throw them in my console. That's the deal, folks. That's the deal with these knives. They don't rust. George has stories on top of stories on top of stories about how he took his knife. He took a, one of them, what do they call them, Kudas or something, took a Mustad and took something else and 
threw it in a bucket or something of salt water and let it sit there for a week. Pulled it out. Couldn't couldn't use any of the knives. Pulled his out. Wiped it off. There you go. Started cutting stuff. So, that's just a little show and tell right now. I'm going to leave you in suspense, but we're going to come up with something here. And leave some comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know what would be a good contest. I'm not. I'm thinking about doing something different than we've always done, where you have to go to one of my videos and and say something in code. I'm thinking about doing something else. I'm thinking sort of on the lines of just emailing me a photograph or texting me a photograph of you and your flay knife that you use now. Something like that. That's sort of what I'm leaning towards. So you let me know in the comments and keep it kind of, you know, keep it sensible, folks, and not, you know, keep it clean. Keep it respectful, okay? And guess what? When it gets dull or you can't recover it any longer and it gets, like, you tore it up just like I tore up mine... You put it in a you put it in a short box and you send it back to George and he is going to put the whoop on these things and he's gonna send it right back to you. <laughs> How good can that be? Alright? So thanks for watching. As usual, share them, subscribe, all that good stuff. But this was a very impromptu video because of the fact that I just got this box off the mailman. All right. Thanks for watching.